Hello there, this is as always Marcin and today I'm going to give you a complete guide to curve adjustment layer. Before we start, you need to understand the basic rule of photography. So your image is not connection of the colors, lights, some paintings. The rule behind the photography is very basic. You have three lights, red light, green light and blue light connected together with different intensity give you your final image and there is nothing more behind photography. So understanding this help us to understand how not only curve adjustment layer works, but how most of the adjustment layers in Photoshop work because most of the adjustments that we have in Photoshop work on this basic rule on manipulating red light, green light and blue light. So in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about curve adjustment layer, how to read histogram and what exactly happens when we manipulate with curve. So let's move to Photoshop and start working on some really simple examples. Curve adjustment layer allow us to work with three different lights. This is red, green and blue. Or we can also work with all of these lights at once. So we can switch between the different channel. If we want to work just with the red, we will choose the red. If we want to work just with the green, we will work with the green. If we want to work on blue light, we will work with the blue. For any general adjustments, if we want to be straight and we don't want to change the values of each light separately, we will work in RGB mode. Looking at this histogram, on the left side, we will be affecting shadows and on the right side, we will be affecting highlights. Inside, we can see the existence of the pixels. And looking from the RGB, we can see the line over here. And this line represents fully dark pixels. The line in the center and in between a little bit. And this line will represent everything that lies between complete brightness or complete darkness. So I would understand this would be my colors. And we have a line over here in the highlights that would represent this complete brightness. So for example, if I start from the shadows and go down and pass beyond the center here, as I have nothing that would be brighter than these colors I had here and darker than this white here, this image would become dark mostly at this point. And also going to the end, as you can see, there will not be change because we are unable to darken complete brightness. Going opposite way, what I will do now, I will try to fill the shadows with the light. So I will be affecting starting with the complete darkness and I will also be affecting these colors. So let's see how it works. I'm going to increase this. And as you can see, at some point we get complete brightness because we fill all of the shadows with the light. Now moving to the highlights. What I will do first, I will increase the highlights. So as I have complete brightness, we won't see effect over here, but we will start seeing effect first on the colors and then the brightness on them will increase, but we won't see the change on complete darkness because now we work selectively on the highlights. To work separate, so for example, if we want to affect the highlights now, this complete light, we would have to start decreasing from this light. The same way as we were decreasing the light over here. Moving to the different channel, I will move to the red now. If I want to decrease the red light, I will grab this slider and I pass the middle, I have complete darkness because here I only had the red light at 50% strength. And also I can see I have a little bit of the red light here. And this red light is actually this complete whiteness here because each of this color will be at 100% over here. And these colors connected together give us this complete white. Going opposite way, if I want to fill these shadows with the red light, I will go up here. And as you can see, I start filling each of this color with the red light and the dark pixels with the red light. So at the end, all of the dark pixels will get filled 
with the red light, except the complete brightness because we cannot have effect on this, and green and blue change the colors because we applied 100% of the red light to around 50% of the green and around 50% of the blue. So connecting blue with such a strong red light would give us pink and connecting green with such a strong red light would give us orange. So now let's try opposite way. I'm going to increase the highlights and as you can see, increase the highlights strongly only on the red pixels because I'm working selectively with the red light now. But also we can notice that there is a little bit of the light in other colors. So when I increase the highlights after I pass the center here, I start affecting the other colors. Before I pass the center here, I cannot pass them because as I said, each of the color has around 50% strength. So once I pass it and I enter the area that will be brighter than these colors, I will add some of the red light to them. And this is why the blue color got purple and the green trying to get yellow, but kind of cannot get there just yet. An opposite way, I can also decrease the light of the blues and I can take away the red light from this complete brightness. So white change into cyan dancer is very simple because when we connect 100% blue with 100% green, we get the cyan. So going back to zero, moving to green. If I will decrease the light from the green after I pass the center, it will get complete darkness. If I will increase the greens and fill this for the dark pixels and as I pass up, as you can see, the green will equalize with the background and when it comes to the red square, it got filled with 100% of green light. So it got really nearly complete green, but of course we need to remember that was a little bit of red. So that's why it will never reach the green. And also it comes to the blue, we had the blue here. So we have mix of around 50% blue with 100% of the green. So what will happen when I move it opposite ways? For example, I increase the green on the highlights. As you can see, I have the effect on the greens, but it also seems that on this red pixels and green, I don't really have that much of the green light, of the green pixels. So this is why there is no effect on that. When I remove the green light from the image, as you can see, the white one will get color magenta. Why is it? Because when we mix the red light with the blue light, we get magenta. And lastly, the blue, decreasing the blue light will make blue color invisible. Increasing the blue light in everywhere but highlights will make the dark background and the blue color complete blue. And we get the mix it with red color and the green color. So we achieve the new colors. When it comes to the highlights, when I increase the highlight on the blue pixels, I can see the change on the blue. I can see also change on the green and red because it seems we had some of the blue pixels there. And when I'm going to decrease the blue light completely, as you can see, I got the new values on the red and green because I removed the red light from these colors. And I also got yellow color here in replacement of the white one because now the red light in connection with the green light give us yellow. So as you can see, the image, no matter if you have white color, black, it's all based on lights and we can use it in photography. For example, on this image, I use the dark image because it's easy to visualize the lights here. So when I open RGB, as you can see, I can work on the shadows and can increase the shadows. I can decrease the highlights. I can increase the highlights and the same thing will be happening what was happening with my color image. So I got here, it seems I have only the red light in the complete highlights. This is why it stayed red. Moving to the colors, for example, when we work on the red and we move the curve 
a little bit below. We often used to say that we add the cyan color, but the truth is, we don't add any cyan color. What we do, we remove the red light from the image. So for example, when I remove the red light completely, I'm only stayed with blue light and green light. This is why we have this image that will have only blue color, red color, I'm sorry, green color, and the cyan color, which is the mix of these two. When I will come to green and remove the green light completely, I will only have the red color and the blue color because we don't have any green left. If I go to blue and decrease the blue light completely, I will have only green color left, which is green light, red light, and yellow, that will be connection of green and red. So this is how you understand the how RGB works and how curve will work. And curve adjustment area will allow us to mix these lights in a very complicated way. So for example, in the red channel, I will create a point on my curve over here. I will decrease the red light and I will decrease the curve over here. Then I will go to the blue channel and I will increase the blue light on the highlights here and maybe something like this. And as you can see, by manipulating the lights just a little bit, I decreased the red light from the highlight area where they existed and I increased the blue light in the highlight area where the blue pixels existed. So as you can see, a uh, quite small change. We can do more complicated things because we can go, for example, to the green. And if I want to decrease the green light from the dark pixels, I can do it by dragging it down and I can create another point curve here and increase the green light on the highlight area. And as you can see, once again, we change the lights on the image. So keeping it simple, I don't want to do some complicated tasks here. You will have the certain idea how the curve adjustment layer work. And what was important for me to not think of the curve and channels as the colors, but I wanted to present this as it is. And what it is, it's simply three different and basic lights, red, green, and blue. And using them, allow us to manipulate values of this light. And when we manipulate the values of this light, we change the outcome of the image and the colors of this image. Thank you for watching. Of course, don't forget to check the links that I have in the description. Uh, on the daily basis, I'm Retoucher. You can see my portfolio, which is also in the description. And I want to invite you to my website, retouchingninja.com. I share their free retouching course and some bigger courses so if you will be interested and you want some high quality teaching check my website thank you for watching and i will see you soon